Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan Hale here with Hale Family Real Estate and Keller Williams Elite Realty. Happy hurricane to you. I thought today a lot of you are probably sitting around your computer, so it might be a good day to share something that I've been doing that's really helped my business a lot, and it's my workflow calendar, so here it goes. All right, uh, right here, we'll see every morning. I basically have set myself up for what I'm working towards is a three-day work week. I've been in real estate for uh, six and a half years now, and things are going pretty well for our business. We've got you know, me and my wife, I do the sales side. She does buyers. We have a buyer's agent, a couple of admin people, an admin and a contract to close person on our team. And one of my goals is to, you know, find myself at a three-day work week. I mean, I don't want to, you know, work 60, 70 hours a week forever. So I did that to get myself to this point. I'm going to share it with you right now. Basically, as you see, every day right here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, these are my big three days where I really work and try to get ahead. And I've set myself up. Uh, here to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and this may not work for you but this is what works for me uh, so uh, at five o'clock I wake up and I pray give thanks for all the good things that I have in my life and all the good things I'm hoping to bring into my life I set my goals for the day and I write my personal notes this is a pretty big thing for me manage my database which your database is your business. If you haven't heard that yet, it's pretty important and it's a, a, a real key concept. And I review and respond to my emails. Let me make sure there's nothing else on this, this day. That's correct. Review and respond to emails. Okay, just want to make sure I had all that right for you. That on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, my workflow is get up early, get some things done. This really allows me to get ahead in my day and to you know, feel accomplished going into the day. In this window here, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., uh, I'm, you know, feeding kids, making lunches, getting them off to school, that type of thing. My wife is involved in that as well, but this this time frame here, I don't really do a lot of like real estate work, so that's more, you know, spending time with my kids, that type of thing, but sometimes this may bleed over. Uh, now, as you'll see, pretty much every day also, I have some time built in here in the mornings for me to take care of myself. And, you know, I do barbell fitness class a couple times a week, three times, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I try to get into yoga three times a week. And Sunday is a day that I go do my, you know, spiritual fitness and go to church. So, again, the mornings from 9 to 11, I kind of take as time for me. And because I've done these things, because three days out of the week I've really cranked and just drill down into my business for a couple hours. I can go into yoga, for instance, and not have to think about much of anything else. I can just kind of take care of my body because I know that I'm already ahead for the day. So these big, these are my big three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And like I said, I'm working towards uh, functionally a three-day work week. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so you can see some of the rest of the stuff on my calendar. Uh, Sundays and Thursdays also, I'm praying. And Sundays, I set a game plan for the week. I like to do this in the morning as well. Um, I, I, what, I did have this blocked on my calendar for Sunday evening, but mornings are a time of high energy for me. I wake up, have my coffee. I don't eat anything until you know much later in the day. So I, I have a lot of energy early, and that's when I want to set up a game plan for the week that's going to be effective for me. And then Thursdays is kind of more of a wrap-up day. Pray, set goals, write notes. And here, I feel like functionally, I should be done with anything that I would really consider work. Uh, by Thursday morning, right? So I finish up my work week there, go to yoga, and I've got a client lunch in here. Now, a client lunch, really, to me, that, that's that's barely considered work, you know? I mean, like, if you're going out and sitting down and having lunch with somebody that is a past client or a referral source, that's pretty easy, man. You know, I mean, I kind of enjoy doing that. And one of the, the key things that I, I use for my client lunch to basically cut my budget in half for that is the Go Play Save book that, you know, if you're a realtor around the Triangle area, you can pick one of those up from your kid's school or somebody else's kid's school. They're like 30 bucks or something. And, and basically there's a, a buy one, get one free coupon everywhere, you know, for, for all kinds of restaurants out there. So it basically takes the price of, of having lunch with one of your clients and cuts it down to having lunch by yourself. And here on Wednesdays, one of the things that you'll see, and I've got all my activities here, my big block of work, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, right? I've got these big blocks of work that are scheduled, and they're, they're scheduled in order of importance. Now, you'll notice on Monday, it says pass out flyers right here, right? So on Monday, that's the day to get ahead for me. And if, if it's not Monday for you, 
I urge you to consider making Monday your day to get ahead, but whatever you've designated as the first day of your work week, you really kind of need to take that day and get ahead because if you don't, you're going to feel like you're behind, you're going to be stressed out all week, and as soon as you get that lead generation done, whether it's passing out flyers door to door uh, like it is for me, or whether it's making phone calls, uh, you know, whatever your, your, your activity is that's going to build your business, get ahead on Monday. Make sure you do a massive amount of that on Monday and you'll feel incredibly accomplished for the rest of the week. Basically what I do when I pass out my flyers on Monday, on Tuesday I'm going back here, like I said, pray, set my goals for the week and immediately I'm pulling out my personal notes and I'm writing notes to those most important people that I talk to while walking around knocking on doors. If somebody goes, yeah man, I'm thinking about you know uh, making a uh, you know, a real estate sale or purchase, then they're getting a personal note written out to them the next day. They're also getting inserted into my database, right? Uh, that way, I, I know that these people that I've met who are important to me and important to my business are getting taken care of in the right way. But like, as you see here, I've got a pretty big block of time, 12 to five. What if you lead generated for five hours a week, man, and, and you got that done on Monday? Like your business would be in great shape. Also, um, I'm pretty big into videos, so I make a video uh, every Monday at the end of my passing out flyers because that's a, that's a time when I, I, my energy is also high. I feel like, man, I, I'm really, I've, I've really done it. You know, I, I did my flyers. I, I knocked on 100 doors today. I talked to a bunch of people, and that's a great time for me to make a video because my energy is on high. I feel confident, you know, things like that. So, um, so that, that's my Monday. Every day, every week is getting ahead, passing out flyers. On Tuesday, completing flyers. Again, the most important thing. If for some reason I got rained out or whatever, I had things come up, I couldn't get my flyers done, complete flyers. I've got to get that done before anything else happens on Tuesday, right? Then manage my real estate business. I prep the team meeting that we've got coming up over here on Wednesday. I work on business and Keller Williams systems and I rep some dialogue. So I'm doing things here on Tuesday. I've got a set schedule of activities that are also gonna be good for my business. Wednesdays, same thing, big block of work. Meet with the team, meet with Steven Elias. He's our rock star buyer's agent. Uh, work with Diana, she's my admin. She's been my contract to close person slash admin for quite some time. And you know, as our business has expanded, we've moved Diana into a straight up admin role. Kinda in the process of that right now. And so there's some, some things that I have to work on with her right now, getting our systems down, things of that nature, making calls, right? And some of these calls are going, hey man, what's up? Are you, you, know, are you available for lunch tomorrow? I'm gonna be in the area. So I'm setting up my client lunches tomorrow and I'm gonna work from the office. I'm gonna sit in our real estate, our Keller Williams real estate office on Wednesdays from 12 until 5.30, because no point in me trying to drive, get on the road to drive home at five o'clock from Durham. But anyway, like I said, I get in there and I get some work done on Wednesday and really crank out anything else that I need to get done for the week, right? So I've got a couple videos done. I've got all my lead generation th uh, things done that I need to do. And really the entire west rest of my week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and soon to be Sunday, uh, is free. So I'm getting everything done that I need to get done that I would consider work in three days, right? So let's take a look down here at my listing presentations. You'll see I've got them in green. These are my available slots for listing presentations. If you're not at the stage of your business now where you've got someone else taking out your buyer clients for you, I would encourage you to, to work hard to get there if you really want to grow your business to you know, to a really high level. And maybe that's not you and that's completely fine too, but this could easily be buyer consult, showings, listing presentation, whatever it is. And the reason I've got these things in green, these are available opportunities for that. And I picked this up from Josh, the apparently handsome police officer slash realtor who came out to run a class for us at KW last week on Shift, which is a terrific book, but uh, you know, about changing real estate markets. Anyway, one of his dialogue, uh, you know, dialogues that I'll be repping over here on Tuesdays is, is this. It's when somebody talks to you about a listing presentation, hey, I want you to come out. I'm going to say, okay, great. What works better for you? Weekdays, weeknights, or weekends? And then if they say uh, weeknights, perfect. I've got Tuesday at six o'clock, 
and Thursday at six o'clock, both available. Which one of those would work better for you? And then obviously, if there's a listing presentation and somebody says, no, nah, I'm busy, both of those, I can only do it Wednesday night. Um, yeah, no kidding, I'm gonna do a listing presentation on Wednesday night, just like you would probably do showings on Wednesday night. The reason why I've got these things blocked off in green is like I said, they're available slots and I don't consider a listing presentation work because that's like a lottery ticket, man. You know, I mean, shit, I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm winning the lottery when I go on a listing presentation. And you should feel the same way about your buyer uh, consults or your home showings. This is an opportunity for you to get paid. I mean, that's why, again, these are in green for a reason. These are available slots for me to make a ton of money. If this person says, yeah, actually weekdays are better, okay, great, I've got Tuesday, six to eight, or I'm sorry, Tuesday at noon available, or Thursday at noon available, and I just drag and drop this thing. And again, this is me taking control of my schedule. If I end up moving it up here, and I don't have time to do what I, you know, some of the activities that I had set up on Tuesday, no biggie, you know, I mean, I can move some of those activities. And this is, and let me be clear, this is a separate calendar from my, my regular real estate calendar. I'll show you that here. These are events that, and I share this with my team, so there's some different colors on here. I'm in blue, but these are events on my regular calendar that if they don't get done on that specific day or at that specific time, those events will die, they'll go away. Like once someone books a listing presentation, once they take this here, then it goes over here. It goes on to my actual calendar, right? Because those are set appointments, things that have to get done. In truth, I could move passing out flyers to Tuesday. I don't like to do that because then I feel like crap about it. You know, as soon as I've got it done, I feel happy about it. As soon as it's hanging over my head because I didn't do it on Monday, I don't feel good about it. And boom, there goes my, my three-day work week up in smoke as soon as I move this big activity to another day. I'm, it's just, it's not good for me. So, like I said, I like to do this, but, I mean, it could be... 95 degrees, 100% humidity on, on Monday, and, and, and I, I may not get all of my flyers done, or I may not get any of them done, depending on, you know, a lot of different factors. Heck, I might have, you know, two listing presentations or something on Monday that takes precedence. So, in any event, uh, like, like I said, these, these, this is my workflow calendar. This is what I'm shooting for. This is how I would like my week to look, right? So, uh, like I said, my goal is to have a three-day work week. As you see here, I've got open house in yellow. Right now, we have me, our listing agent, my wife working with buyers, does a fair amount of open houses, Stephen Elias, our buyer's agent, uh, who does open houses every weekend. And as we have more than one listing, I'm gonna be doing a fair amount of these open houses, right? Because we wanna do them every week as part of our business plan. And soon, this yellow, will go away. This is an activity I have in yellow because I want to get it off my calendar. I don't want it to be there for long. I'd like to have our business running at a level where I can take Sundays off every week because I've got enough buyer, buyer's agents that, you know, I don't have to do any of these open houses. However, I've made a commitment to my team and especially to our lead buyer's agent, Stephen Elias, that I'm not having any more buyer's agents until such time as he and his family are fed. I mean, fed well, that he's got, that he's doing 30 units a year. Once he's closing 30 transactions a year, and we're kind of flirting with that, you know, the pace that we're on. But anyway, um, you know, once we get to the point that he's got as much as he can handle, then I'll bring somebody else on. And we'll start, and we're continuing to grow our organization into that millionaire real estate model, which if you haven't read that book, man, come on, what are you doing? It's, it's time, you know, get, drill down, read The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. If you're serious about growing your business and, and on any level, that, that's, that's the first book that you need to read, okay? So um, anyway, uh, like I said, this is, this is my workflow week calendar. And whatever level of, of business that you're at, whether you're a new agent, just getting started in the business and you want to know how to how to grow your business this is a great step in the right direction because as realtors we pretty much are our own bosses and we don't have a lot of people telling us what we got to do and when we got to be somewhere things of that nature and if you don't have a real estate calendar it's easy 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 to get sucked into doing something that's not actually productive whether that's you know watching videos on Facebook or whatever it might be. But this right here, like I said, whatever your first day of the week is for you, whether you set it as Monday or whether you set it as, uh, you know, 
Friday because you're starting out the weekend and weekends are big for you as a, as a buyer's agent showing homes, doing open houses, things like that. Whatever your first day of the week is, you really, really need to make it a point to get ahead of whatever, act, whatever activities that you don't really like to do. Um, and that, that, that for me, really the thing I hate the worst is like data entry and stuff. So I, I get up at five and I do the, that stuff early, you know what I mean? So I like to get that stuff out of the way because that has to be done daily. This helps me feel like I'm accomplished for the rest of the day. And passing out flyers, getting my lead generation done, that helps me feel accomplished for the rest of the week. So anyway, like I said, I encourage you highly and strongly to make your workflow calendar just like they teach you in Bold or any other uh, real estate course that you might take. And for all my agents out there, fellow mega agents, please, man, call me up anytime. As you see, I got some free time here Thursday afternoons, Fridays, hopefully all day long. I'm not working. But please, if you're a mega agent out there and you want to brainstorm and talk about ideas and share and, and kind of grow together, I'd love to hear from you. Reach out to me anytime. If you're a new agent, kind of getting started, man, I love to talk to you as well and, and mentor you a little bit, but I got a couple steps for you. Step number one, go and like, and oh, I'm sorry, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content on there, a lot of video content on everything from how to go door to door, how to make phone calls, uh, you know, how to think about a, a lead when it comes in. A lot of stuff on there that may answer whatever questions you might have as a new agent. And then secondly, um, don't call me up saying, hey, I'm brand new and I'm thinking about doing this. What do you think about it? Because I'm, I, I don't really care. I'm not interested in having that conversation. The conversation that I am interested in having with new agents that I, I, I can mentor to and help them succeed is, hey, I went out door to door and knocked on doors, not for 10 minutes, but for four hours yesterday. And here's the results I got. How do you think I can do better? Hey, I made, I've been making phone calls, calling for sale by owners. And this is what, this is what I am doing in my business. This is the action that I've been taking. What do you think about that? I'm interested in that. I'm not interested in talking to somebody who's not doing stuff, man. That just kind of, you know, it's, I've discovered that it's a waste of my time, you know, sitting down talking to someone about here's the dialogue that you need to have if you're going to call for sale by owners. They don't call for sale by owners. You know, I mean, if they're having that conversation with me, um, if they're serious about it, and if you are serious about it as a new agent, if you're serious about door knocking, go knock doors, then call me and tell me what you got. If you're serious about those for sale by owners, you wouldn't be making a call to me saying, hey, how do I call for sale by owners? That shit's all over YouTube, man. I mean, you can Google for sale by owner dialogue and you'll find a ton of things out there telling you exactly how to do it. So like I said, if you're a new agent and you want me to mentor to you, happy to take time on Thursday or Friday, just call me, man. But make sure you got something to talk about, something that you did, not something that you're thinking about doing because like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time for that. So uh, thanks for paying attention. I know this video has been pretty long, but subscribe to my YouTube channel. Look forward to talking to you. Thanks.